the 2023 edition of the Doha Forum has officially kicked off. GCC nations unanimously hold Israel legally responsible over innocent civilian deaths in Gaza. And finally, Qatar Airways lands its first flight at the new Neom Bay Airport in Saudi Arabia. Hi, this is Ali, this is The Roundup, and here are today's top stories. The 2023 Doha Forum has officially begun on Sunday, with the event serving as a platform for dialogue between leaders, government officials, think tanks, and influential opinion makers. Qatar's Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani opened the Doha Forum at the Sheraton Doha Hotel by awarding the Doha Forum Award to the Commissioner General of the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, Felipe Lazzarini. The event will be held for two days, coming to an end on Monday. Now, all of the Gulf Cooperation Council's member nations have jointly renewed their condemnation of the Israeli aggression on the Gaza Strip. The country said that they unanimously hold Israel legally responsible for the ongoing attacks that are targeting and killing innocent civilians, which have resulted in thousands of deaths, most of them women and children. The GCC member nations also stated that this is a clear violation of international and international humanitarian law. And finally, Qatar Airways has continued its trend of unlocking new destinations by inaugurating a new service to the Neom Bay Airport in Saudi Arabia. The new futuristic city in the neighboring kingdom will have two weekly flights coming in from Qatar Airways on Saturdays and Thursdays. The expanding operations at Neom Bay are part of the Saudi Vision 2030. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.